hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel for YouTuber, just trying to be a long nobody and my share. Can you hear this? It's squeaking so loud. Today I am doing a tag video, a tag video that I've done before. I love to do tag videos, but it doesn't feel like it's such a big thing anymore. I went back on my channel and looked what tags that I've done in the past and I found this tag that I did in August 2020 and this is a tag that is created by my friend Angelica Lidemar I will of course leave her down in the description and up here in the card she did this tag and I thought it was fun when I did it and I guess that things have changed in like two years so this is the eyeshadow palette lover eyeshadow palette lover tag and it is 10 questions about palettes so i hope that you will like that i'm redoing tags because yeah as i said things has changed so i will of course leave my old video down in the description as well and i think we just hop into this i'm going to scooch because i'm going to show you palettes but for the first question i am not and that is a palette i regret that i didn't buy and it's actually two palettes that I regret that I didn't buy. And I have this Giant Wolves from Oda's Eye and then it's Makeup Corner. Uh, that looks like this. And when this came out, it came two other palettes. A Red Dragon and uh, another one. Um, they did collabs with two other smaller creators. And... I was like, okay, I just want to support Annette, and Annette is my friend, so I bought that one. But then I have seen an amazing look with other two palettes, and this palette has an amazing formula. I also have another palette from Odensai Urd that I don't think is as good as this one. So I do regret that I didn't buy the other two collab palettes, because what I've heard, they are also great as that one, and... They are no longer available and I am on a no buy. So yeah, I actually regret that I didn't buy all the three palettes. But when I bought that one, I was like, I don't need two other palettes. But I think that I would have loved them. The second question, a palette that I regret buying. And if <laughs> I'm going to take the Natasha Denona retro palette. And as you may know, I don't like this palette. I just think that like Natasha Denona isn't my thing. It's not like a super bad palette, but I don't think it's worth the money that I did pay for it. I did buy it when it was 20% off. I wouldn't have bought it for like full price. It's one of her midi palettes with the 15 shades, but I do not think it's worth all the money. I do not get a hype with the Natasha Denona. Maybe it's just not my brand. Maybe it's just me that doesn't work super good with the Natasha Denona formula. I don't know, but I do actually regret buying this, but I'm not going to decluttering. Not yet, at least. But we will see in the future, maybe. The third question is a palette that I haven't used as much as I thought. And I guess it is a lot of palettes, but I actually took this California Love. And why I did pick this one. I've talked about this in other videos. This is a neutral palette with an orange hint to it. And like orange is my favorite eyeshadow colors. And when I'm not doing YouTube makeup for YouTube, I do use more like these kinds of colors. And I was like, I want something that is a kind of an orange, but not like too much orange that I can use outside of youtube i hope that you get what i mean but like i have i have used this once i thought that this was going to be my new favorite outside of youtube palette my favorite like not everyday palette but you know when you just want a little bit of eyeshadow i was like the california love it's going to be my thing i'm going to love it so so much i'm going to use it so so much i haven't and it is something about this that like I don't feel the urge to use it but why is maybe why I may be going to answer now because the next question is <laughs> a 
A palette I use more than I thought, and I think you all know which palette it is. I'm so sorry for talking about this all the time. It's of course the side by side palette by Nabla. Should we take a little peek in this one? Because you have never seen it on this channel. It looks like this. This has been this has become the palette that I thought the California Love was going to be. I love this palette. It's my most used palette in my collection, I think. I love it with my whole heart. It is an amazing palette and yeah. I used it so much more than I thought I was going to because I just thought it yeah, maybe I do some videos about it when I'm doing like Nabla themes. But this is the palette that I've used the most in my collection and I just love it so, so much. The next question is my favorite half neutral and half colorful palette. And I always think that this is so hard. Because I don't know how like picky I should be. But I took another palette that has been one of my favorite palettes for a long time. And that is the secret palette from Nabla. Before side by side, this was my favorite palette in my collection. And I do think this is kind of half neutral, half colorful. It has 15 shades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe 7 colorful colors. We, we, we say it's a half neutral, half colorful palette. And I just love this one. Um... You know that, I know that, we have talked about this palette so much as well. I love that it is always a matte that goes amazing to one of the shimmers. It's a really good formula in this whole palette. And I just think this is a really fun palette to play with and I love it. Like this green shade Rosemary, it is an amazing green shimmer. And also like this one and the black is really good and yeah I think this is a really good if you want to try Nabla and you want some colors but not too much I think this is a perfect choice I think this is still available I'm so sorry if it's not but you know when you're having year-long no buy on makeup browsing websites is not a thing that you do question number six is a palette that you bought for the package and I'm actually going to show you two palettes and okay it is the melt and beetle use palettes I have this on today the waiting room palette and these maybe I didn't buy only for the packaging but like the beetle use theme made me buy them these were expensive palettes as melt are and I do like the color stories like the recently deceased look like this i do like it and the waiting room looks like this but if i'm going to be honest i don't know if i would have bought them with this color story but not this packaging i think i wouldn't so i must say like i bought these because of the packaging because beetle use love that movie love that he's so disgusting and uh, yeah, I bought this because it's Beetle Use and because it's Melt. I, I don't know how many other brands I would have bought Beetle Use palettes from. <laughs> Even though Melt isn't a brand that I love, it's not. Uh, I have started to realize that I'm in the middle, middle of my Melt week. And I realized that Melt is maybe not for me, but... I did buy these for the packaging because they look amazing. Question number seven. A palette where you love the shimmers more than the mattes. And I have to say the Arcana palette from Shroud. I love the grunchiness of this palette. And the matte shadows are really good except for this one. This is one of these like bluish gray shades that turn out to a little bit muddy. But the rest of the mattes are really good, but the shimmers, they are like, it's something special about Shroud's shimmers. And in this palette, I love them. This is the perfect grunge gold, dirty, like, amazingness. This one is so nice. This one, together with this one, amazing. This one, together with this one, also amazing. The green one, together with this one, 
amazing. So in this palette, the shimmers are really the star of the palette and it is something special about trout shimmers. They are amazing. If you haven't tried them and if you want to try something from Shroud, I would recommend you to buy singles with shimmers because they are just, they are so creamy and so easy to work with and it's like the best shimmer formula I know. And question number eight is a palette where you like the mattes more than the shimmers and I did actually take the Kaleidos Flower Punk. This isn't my favorite palette from Kaleidos, mostly because I hate this. Um, the palette looks like this. It has three shimmers that isn't like Kaleidos Amazing Shimmer Formula. They did something with the shimmers around Futurism 6 and 7 where they did more like not that opaque really creamy heavy shimmers more like toppers and more like normal shimmers if you have tried the palettes i guess you know what i mean these are like shimmers that looks best with a glitter primer nothing wrong with that but if you have used the earlier palettes from kaleidos i guess that you know what i'm talking about but here I really think like the mattes are the star of this palette. Like these green mattes down here, amazing grungy greens. I do really like these two as well. This one is maybe not like my favorite color, but here I really think that the, the, the mattes stand out more than the shimmers. It's not like bad shimmers, but the mattes are more fun. They go really good together, so... I guess that works, but I think that the mattes are better in this palette than the shimmers. Question number nine is a palette that happily surprised you. And I think that I have a lot of palettes, but I'm going with the Scarlet Dusk from Ace Boutet. This is not the color story I love. This is not colors I usually love the most, but I do really love this palette. I've talked about this many times with this and uh, Vintage Dawn that I thought that I was going to love the Vintage Dawn but I did, did love this instead. And that was a happy surprise. I do have a lot of happy surprises in my collection. I think actually it's either this one or actually maybe this one, the Tinker Bitch palette because this This is a really nice palette that surprised me a lot. So maybe I'm going with this instead. This is really muted in a good way. <laughs> muted in a good way Tinker Bitch palette. It's just so, so good. The greens, like this green is really deep. And these mattes up here are really nice. Even though they maybe don't look that special. But yeah, this did really happily surprise me. I... This is so much better than I thought. I thought it, and especially like when they was saying that they was going to do a Tinkerbell palette, I was like, never. I will never buy that one. <laughs> but I did, and I do really like it. Question number 10, that is the last question. I think this was the hardest one, and I have changed my mind so many times. I don't know with what I'm going to go with. I think I have made up my mind. Have I? Yeah, we go with this. So it's a palette with the most interesting color story. And I'm like, Angelica, this was not a nice question. But I actually did go with the Club Nebula. Uh, that is the collab between Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist. And I don't know if... If this is this the most interesting? If you didn't know this, this palette has a special place in my heart. It has um, meant a lot to me the year I got it. It was my most used palette 2020. And what I love about this is that you can have three. If you go by row by row, you can have three really different looks out of this palette. And I love that, and I love palettes that are built that way. Like, if you just pick this palette up and don't know what to do, you can just maybe take the last row, 
you have your crease, your outer corner and shimmers on your lid. And here you have, you can take this in your crease if you want to or this one and deepen it down with this one and then take the shimmers on your lid and you're good to go. Crease or crease, one of these and that one and you're good to go. And they all will look really different and I love that about this and I just think that this is one of, this is the best palette from Kaleidos. And uh, I think they did such a good job on Yelka and Kaleidos. I just love this palette. And I think this, but like I have a lot of palettes that I really love, but I'm going with this one. And yeah, that was all for this video. I do really hope that you've liked this. I think I have other palette tags that I've done like two years back that I might think can be fun to do again because this year when I had my no buy I have really liked used the palettes more and I have discovered palettes in my collection that I either had like forgotten about or that I haven't used that much but that I have used more this year because no new palettes is coming into my collection this year so I have had to play with what I have and I have not cared about if the palettes are available, if the palettes are new or old. I have just played with the palettes I have. So if you want me to do more older tags, I am happily doing that. And yeah, I guess that it was all for this video. Don't forget to check out Angelica, she is amazing. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!